Understanding Thoughts and Prayers Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very common English expression, thoughts and prayers. This phrase is often used in times of tragedy or when someone is going through a difficult period. Our goal is to help you understand not just the meaning, but also when and how to use it appropriately. So, let's get started. Thoughts and prayers is a phrase used to express sympathy, condolence, or solidarity with someone who is experiencing misfortune or suffering. When someone says they are sending their thoughts and prayers, it means they are thinking of the person in distress and hoping for their situation to improve. It's a way of showing support and concern without being physically present. This phrase is commonly used in various situations, such as after natural disasters, during times of personal loss, like the death of a loved one, or after tragic events, such as terrorist attacks or mass shootings. It's a versatile expression that conveys empathy and compassion. 1. Social media posts. People often use thoughts and prayers in posts or comments to show support for those affected by recent events. 2. Condolence messages. In personal messages or cards, thoughts and prayers is a respectful way to offer sympathy. 3. Public statements. Leaders and public figures may use this phrase in speeches or press releases in response to tragedies. While thoughts and prayers is meant to express support, it has faced criticism for being an inadequate or passive response to tragedy, especially when used by politicians or public figures. Critics argue that it can come off as a cliché or empty gesture, particularly in situations that demand tangible action or policy change. It's important to be mindful of the context and the audience's perspective when using this phrase. Thoughts and prayers can be a heartfelt way to express sympathy and solidarity. However, it's crucial to understand the context and ensure that our words translate into meaningful actions when possible. We hope this video has shed light on how to use this common English phrase appropriately. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more useful content in the future. Stay tuned!